Grandpa here. Me and the boys, we've been thinking what we want for supper. And Jay-Z had a bright idea. Say hi, Jay-Z. Y'all really never met my grandson. This is Joshua. He's the oldest of the wild ones. So he and I are going to make a lasagna. Lasagna, lasagna, the bitch tastes good, it really tastes good, lasagna, lasagna, ah-ha, yeah! We can be some Italian eating mothers today. What are you doing? Chopping meat. Say that. We what? Chopping meat. No, you're brought on meat. Hang on. Okay, stop. Now, that is two pounds of hamburger. Now, take your knife. Look at that boy. We got bell pepper, onion, fresh garlic, Carolina pride. We got the regatta cheese. We got the cottage cheese. We got tomato paste, tomato sauce. So, um, I, I, I canned a bunch of tomatoes and we're gonna use fresh tomatoes. Mozzarella. Mozzarella, mozzarella. And lasagna noodles. And you know, they're not, they're not Borelli's, okay? So, anyway, hold that a minute, Jay. I ain't, you trust you no knife. You take that knife, boy, and you get all that talking, right? You want to get all the sausage. Free all the goddamn bag, you got to get all the sausage. All right, now, mix all that up, Jay. All right, as Jay gets all this brown, I'll be back. All right, y'all see it. We got the sausage and the hamburger meat cooking and browning. Got to be brown, clown, when you use it in the, when you use it in lasagna. Ha, ha, ha. Pour it in. Oh, wait, hold it up. Hold the damn thing. Get the, get the sauce out of that by that boy. You trying to throw away a dime's worth. Now the other one. My God, you wash your hands? No. Nope. You didn't wash your hands? You just went and took a dump yep. and you didn't even wash your hands? Are you trying to get the lasagna flavor? Jesus Christ, let me go wash your hands. Right, are you going to stir this or not? Get out of here and stir this! I ain't got time to waste on you! Stir it up. Well, you got, why'd you use a spoon? That, you know what this is? That's a spatula. Get out of them! I'll send your butt to watch TV. Man, do you, give me the doggone spoon, man. You, you can't, but yeah, when you stir, it's like this, okay? You want to turn it, you want to turn it. You want to turn it. You ain't paddling no boat. <laughs> now, take your little cans of uh, tomato paste there. Put one of them in there. You're going to need a spoon for that one. You take the paste from the can. You take it out and let it blow. Move. No! All I'm taking is your time. You know I ain't got the slice idea of what I'm doing, right? Nope. How's that looking? Good. You think anything looks good. All right, look at this mess you made, boy. Mmm, that's good. Now, we're gonna throw in our onion. And the bell pepper. It was all got cooked down. Onion bell pepper tastes real good. Makes the lasagna really nice. Good, whatever. Then we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. Oh man, I forgot the piece to resist off. Get out of my way! The homemade tomatoes that I clean, that I... 
I don't like to read this mail. I'm back. I'm back. AGP. Back, back, back. As y'all see, got the sauce made. Got lasagna noodles made. Got everything ready to go in. Now, I'm going to build it. You're going to film me building. Okay, you hold the camera. All right. Hang on, let me get a light on. In here, as y'all see, I got a layer of noodle, right? In that noodle now. Damn, what ain't a room, no room, no room. I'm gonna take some sauce, put it in there. Ah! And I'm gonna put the sauce, spread it all evenly, one layer. Maybe just a little tad more for desired temperature. Now, I'm gonna take some ricotta cheese. Put it in there. Kind of mix it up in there a little bit, you know. Take some cottage cheese. Put it on top of that. Then we're gonna take some mozzarella. Mozzarella. Then we're gonna re up. Are you watching me? We're gonna do it again. I'm caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I make the best in town. Why can't you see? What the cheese does. <clears throat> Damn, that's good. Then we go top it off with more mozzarella. All right, youngins. I tell you what, that's gonna be it until it comes out of the oven. Got to go about an hour, hour and a half in the oven, and then it's ready. And while it's cooking, Grandpa gonna sit back. And he's got cheese. Oh God, I love cottage cheese. God damn it! Oh God damn it! What up? Eat some. Ah, damn that good. See you soon, youngins. Bye. All right, young. As you see, the lasagna is ready. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven, give it about 30 minutes cool, and then we'll test drive it and see if it how it rides. You know that lasagna gonna ride well. There. So that was cooking with Grandpa lasagna. And while I was editing the video, I realized he didn't record an ending. Right there, where you just saw, is where the video ends. Grandpa says, uh, we gonna, we gonna eat this lasagna in a minute. And that was it. He didn't show him cutting into it or anything. So for the ending of the video, I'm gonna call him and ask him how the lasagna was. What? How was that lasagna you made? How was it? The, you made, you made a, you made a cooking with Grandpa video I found on my computer where you making lasagna, and you don't have the ending to it. So what, what the fuck? Ending is... How was it? How the fuck you think it was? Anything I cooked is good. It looked good. You got it right. It was good. I didn't call you to come get no dinner. When was this? Because I just found it. Why well, didn't you three months ago? Three months? Well, I never used the video before. But then you got a problem. See, you record you taking it out of the oven, and then you don't eat any of it on camera. Was it good or not? Was it good or not? 
Fuck you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad did not want any part of this conversation. That was cooking with Grandpa. Lasagna, I guess it was good. Okay, so Dad is making something, and he won't tell me what. What is gun you'll find out? I'm just seeing all kinds of bacons and cheeses and potatoes and... Like cream of chicken over there? Nope. We'll just turn it off. What the fuck is that? That's what I eat for breakfast. Oh, a pot of maggots? Yep. So Grandpa ate a pot of maggots for lunch. <laughs> oh, so there's that pulled pork. Okay, Grandpa knows I love this dish. Yeah, but I'm grandpa it up. Uh-oh, we might ruin it by doing this now, everybody. Let's watch him screw it up. You ain't gonna eat it. This is a Boston butt Grandpa made with potatoes last night, I assume. Bacon. More bacon. <coughs> oh, you coughing all over the potatoes. Oh, that grease one ready. Oh, who's screwing this puppy? Me or you? Oh, it's not cream of chicken, it was cheddar cheese. Damn, boy, you, you can read. Pick a boy, I can read. That's about all we can do. All right, what you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta put your meat in, put your cheese on top, mix in your bacon, fry your potatoes. Which, they're done. Turn that off so you don't burn the house down. When you ever cared about that? I guess never. And this is a potato onion mixture. Grandpa has made this before in a different way and I love it. So this this will be an interesting twist on it. Everything I do is twist. Come on, I'll shake it up, baby, now. My mama never shook up nothing. Twist and shout. Shut up. Okay. Well, I'll run you out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Now, come on and walk it on out. I got a fucking headache now, Michael. This is just a new twist on making corned beef hash, roast beef hash. Except I'm using pork butt. Basically, what it was is the next day after Dad spent all his money on a pork butt that we'd have for dinner. We'd have no money left for food. Hey, that's a goddamn line. You need to stop that. It's true. We would have no more money, so we'd put our scraps together to see what we can come up with. You feel doing, Michael? Yes, I do. Looking good, Pop. Let me just get a chunk of this meat. See what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. That's good. Then you mix that cheese sauce all up in there. I think somebody's calling you. Yeah, I'll read it in a minute. I want to see this come together. How long has it got baked for? About 30 minutes. Nice. Oh my god. Then I have to prove alone. So this is a cheap leftover casserole you can make. Everything here is leftover out the, that I had, I ain't cost me a dime.
That's it for about 30, 45 minutes, and then we'll take a look at it. Try to fuck it off. Give me a freaking plate. All the goodies are in the bottom. Here we go. Yeah, you gonna take the first bite. I know, I'm gonna let you do it. It's gonna be burning hot. That's why I ain't gonna touch it. And Michael, I swear to God, it's hot. I can tell. Mmm. Mmm. That's roast beef hash, grandpa's twist way. Show us what it looks like, man, all together. Look at that. Look at that. Potatoes. Roasted pork. Bacon! Mmm. Cheese. I'll give it a taste. That is good. It's real good. Mmm. So there it is. This is leftover casserole. Damn! That's just awesome. Another victory for Grandpa. experiment with Mexican food. As you see, I got the hamburger cooking. Gotta get it brown, man. I made chili. Black beans! Oh, God, black beans! Holy moly, holy moly. We don't know what the hell we're gonna eat today, cause I'm gonna experiment. You know Mike talk about how sorry my knives are. I have to agree. That knife will cut your finger off. See, now we got all this right here, right? There's a method of a madness. Then we got our Suzy Q. And what is Suzy Q going to do? Suzy Q going to flatten it out to me. I got a girl in Kansas City. Big, big freckles on her kitty. Oh, Suzy Q, I love you. Gotta keep my eyes on my other stuff over there. We're gonna take some old El Paso. And we're gonna try our best. Anyway. But we always got a knife at hand. You know that knife ain't sharp, people. And we're gonna mix that in real good. Like I tell you, there's a method to my man, so what I'm doing. I ain't figured it out yet, but what it is, you know. Little bit of OB seasoning. Now, we got the hamburger meat for the homemade roll tacos. We'll try it anyway. So, this is done. We just take this and I'll stick it out of the way. Now, we're going to take the chili. Today is seasoning day. Oh my god. And what are we going to do with the chili? You'll find out in a little while. Will I make you a plate?
We're going to put a little bit of oil in here. Just a little bit. And why? Because I said so! God, I got that one! Y'all might be asking why am I not seasoning this meat yet? Because I don't want to. And what we're going to do is we're going to fry fry this meat up. Oh! It look out of the beat up, baby! Yeah, rock! But, we are now going to put a little bit of old bay. Just a little bit. And we're going to let this cook. And once I get all these components together, then we'll bring them all together. And I'll make you an AGP plate you ain't never had. Come think of it, I ain't never had it either. You don't like my haircut? Got a little trim too. We got their homemade chili chips and dip. I got some homemade burritos. And what I'm doing here, we are gonna make some homemade French bread tacos, pizza, whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of refried bean. You can build it up, you can let it down. What I'm doing is I'm making this take to Michael's house. Michael says I can't cook Mexican food. Well, today we're gonna find out. That's some rice I'm making for me. Alright, now, I got the re I got them. Now, that's where the chicken comes into play. We got that, now we're gonna put some picante sauce on top of the br And then we're gonna just take some chicken. Tear it up and fall in there. On this next one. A little hamburger. Might as well give them a variety. And let's see. I can't help myself. Alright, this is it. Oh shit, that's hot. I got it! These two are your hamburger taco pizza. Bop, bop, bop. Oh shit. These are your chicken. And they are hotter than a goddamn. Oh man. I think I outdid myself again. But we're gonna find out because I'm going to Michael's house. I'm gonna wrap all this up, take it to him, and we'll see what he says. So, I'll see y'all at Michael's. I made you some Mexican food. You said I can't cook it. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Come here. Okay, well, you're gonna find out anyway. Damn, your spouse smells like a damn pumpkin pie or something. We learned the other day that this is not what pumpkin smells like. All right, where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Uh, you're getting extra rude. All right. Okay, what is this? Taco 
Let pizza. Me, let me take a guess. Taco French bread pizza. Yeah. You got two hamburger, two chicken. Okay. Dan, I got you. Chili. So, like that? Of course. Got to that. Now, in this tray is a homemade experiment. A homemade experiment? I don't know if I want to take part in that. Damn. There's your burritos. Okay. That is a concoction. What the hell? It's a concoction with chicken. Should I eat it? Oh, you don't eat it! You don't go there, will you? Yes, I'll eat it! I tell you, you're gonna eat it! Chill out, dude! I'll eat it! Now! Give me a freaking fork! Where is one? Right here! Not the damn I'll teach you. Can I bite my ass with it first? No, dude! Try it. Alright. Charlie loves it. Or maybe he's just saying that to you. Alright. Mmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. What is that? That's chicken thighs. Bonus chicken thighs. Mmm. Homemade concoction. It's got black, it's got black beans, onion, taco seasoning, a little cilantro, uh, fried chicken thighs. Wow. It'd be good in a burrito wrap. You're right. It would be. Well, to kill you, big ass! What? Not to kill you, big ass. You be so rude about it? Yeah. Well, there you go, youngins. Y'all spent the afternoon to... Keep barking, Clyde. Y'all spent the afternoon in the kitchen with me, and here's the end result. Michael's supper. Now, you better eat the damn bit of it! Let me tell you something. If I eat this and I start editing the video and I see you shit in it or something, there's gonna be hell. Well, I did scratch my balls a couple times. Well, that I'm, I'm, I assumed already. Yeah, okay. So, youngins, see you on the next one. Bye! Tell them bye, pretty West! Bye! All you need is a goddamn hammer and a pound of bacon! <laughs>I ain't precise enough. Baking, you have to be precise. No, you goddamn don't. Yeah, and when your shit comes out like soup, then what are you gonna do? Then it ain't gonna come out like soup. All right, then. <clears throat> half bacon powder. Half. Half of what? Teaspoon. Shit, that kind of shit's important. Where's it at? <laughs> oh my god! Dad just wrote half baking powder. Oh my god! What if it's half a fucking tablespoon? It's what I was saying it is! It wouldn't be that much. Wait, let me see that. But you move your thumb. Okay. Half salt. Give me salt. Oh my god, you just were half everything. You don't know what the directions are. Mama didn't even do this. She knew what she was doing. She made good pound cakes. This is going to be a salty motherfucker if you fuck that up. You need to shut the fuck up, Dan. <laughs> you probably just fucked it all up. How many did you put in? One, two, three, four. How you like that one? There you go. Watch this crack. Jealous. How many we got in there? Six. Are you sure? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One spoon. <laughs> what? A vanilla. One vanilla, it says. Oh, this is crazy. One vanilla we're adding. 
plus the extra spoon that fell inside it. Oh man. I could eat sour cream by itself. So how much was that little mixer in there? You got from Dollar General. I think what, 10 bucks? Jesus. Cup of lemon, a cup of lemon juice? A cup? Wait a minute. Let's look that up first, please. Uh, no, uh, please. No. Nope. I'm taking the whole pot with me. Ah, go cool, man. My, Dad. My rib starts now. Come please on. Please let me look that up before you do this. Nah, that's not a cup. It's please. Be. Oh, that's too much. Wait. Oh, my God. That, that can't be right. Damn, two third cups of water. Oh, this can't be right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. This cannot that lemon can't be right. Only two third cups of sugar? What did you write down? I'm sorry, a cup of lemon? I think you need like a spoonful of lemon. <laughs> this might be the recipe we're telling you don't try off the DVD. Maybe you shouldn't try this one. Yeah, you should. This is going to be a sour motherfucker, I'll tell you that. It really is a sour cream pound cake. No. And that's everything. I don't know about all this now. You were disappointing yourself when you fucked this one up. I ain't give a fuck. You used to be the master of pound cake. Can't tell. All tastes of lemon. No sugar. There's no sugar in it. Try this shit. Some ain't right. Dad, this is three cups of sugar. I put in one. I know, so you're missing two cups of sugar. Oh my god. Oh, you screwed this up royally. I ain't screwed. Goddamn. What? Oh, <laughs> you got two more to go. Oh, goddamn. Ow, ow, ow. I saw my bitch. This is a clusterfuck. <laughs> there you go. Jesus Christ. This is like, like an hour and a half. How long does this take to cook? It's about an hour and a half. It's been an hour and a half. It's, been, yeah, it's not an hour and a half or 350. Well, that's like 275. Uh, no oh, this bullshit. You gonna fix it or not? Ain't your goddamn ass standing right there? No, I'm making you do it. Get up and hustle your ass because you. Oh, fuck you. That motherfucker could go through You have fucked these cakes up. You got these three ready to go? When are they gonna cook? Tomorrow? Man. Now it's all 350. Alright, so we got another hour and a half. This is gonna take a long time. The moment of fucking truth. Let's see if you fucked them up or you got them good. Hot. Fear it. Now cut this bitch. I want to cut them right now. Got a little cool. See? You don't know if it's good or not. Oh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. This shit could be disgusting for all you know. The fuck? Feels like your dick hooked. Here we go. Moment of truth. Good. That's cooking with Grandpa!
and Piggy Boy watching. Bye, Evan. I'm zooming into your face. What? I'm zooming all the way into your face. You in my goddamn face. I did, though. But don't! I am. Turn it off! I'm through! Cooking with Grandpa. Now I get back to my computer. Please turn that goddamn thing off. Dad, it's been a couple of months since you made that trailer park pound cake. And I didn't want to tell you in person. I saw that smile on your face. I said it was good. We both know that that pound cake was absolutely disgusting. It was nothing but lemon. It was salty. Not enough sugar. And undercooked. I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to add this to the end of a video for you to see later. But that pound cake was disgusting, unedible, and horrible. That's why I said this. What's yours? I don't want that at the house. That's all I need. That's all I need is a whole damn cake. Count cute. Mom hard take one. What a give a fuck? I don't want to bring her anything or not. <laughs> Why would I want to take any of that pound cake home, dude? It was disgusting. <laughs> Didn't need to cook a little bit longer myself, but... You think? It was a little gooey, actually. Yeah. Jack. Oh, you didn't burn the oven? <laughs> there it AGP, youngest. Good morning. As you see, we have ice falling. The trees are getting heavy. It's, let me see, Wednesday morning. <laughs> the kids are home from school and they're bored. So what do you do? I smoke a cigarette first. As you see, they're bored. Jacob has nothing to do. And he's bored. Are you bored, Jacob? Yes. And there's JC. He's, well, he's always bored. He ain't never happy. And there's John. He's sick. John been blowing his groceries. Anyway, what's better to do than do something with the kids, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to make biscuit pizzas. Look at the goddamn fish you did! I mean, yeah. You know what you were talking about? Yeah. Don't start giving me trouble, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do that one. Yeah. All right, so you take your biscuit, though. Get that thing in here, boys. Spread your dough out. Don't touch. See, you, you spread your dough out like that. And you put the dough there. I'm gonna let you help top yours, okay? Okay. How about you, dummy? You want what kind you want? What some of that on there? I'm talking to you. You answer me. I want some of that on there. Huh? I want some of that on there. That's onion and some onion, bacon. Oh, you gotta have bacon! Ha 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 ha! Daisy loves bacon! Me too! Who cares what you like? Who's the test dummy? You're gonna be the test. Would you mind? Uh that pizza sauce guy. Well I have your pizza sauce guys. Yeah, happy pizza. If you don't got pizza sauce, just get some uh, spaghetti sauce. Okay. You get and bacon. And bacon. So you just take your hand. You know, you're not, you're not making up, you're not in a damn pizza place. What you want on yours? You want a ham on yours? Ham, bacon, pepperoni. Ham. I love ham. You see a hamburger cooking over it, boys? Yeah. Mm. 
We're gonna make some tacos. Be later in a few minutes. Look at that. That's yummy. And there we go. Then you just stick them in the oven. In the meantime, I'll be back to you. I'll be Thank you very much. All right. Go cut it off now, and I'll be back when they're done. We'll tell you what they're like. Jamie, you got anything to say? No. You got a girlfriend? Yes. I heard you kissed a little girl to run the other day. No. I heard you did. You little lover boy! <laughs> That's my lover boy! <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll see all of it. Alright, they're done. And we're gonna find out as soon as they cool down, I'm gonna give them to the boys and they're gonna try them. Should be good though, we'll see. Grandpa here, as you see, we finished. And these boys are eating. What do they think, Jacob? Good. You like that? So see, y'all gonna really do anything, right? You can cook, you can eat. And just think, y'all help make these. Jacob, you are Chef Boy RD. But now we're gonna take a few minutes because we're going to, uh, the hell you swing your arm for? You flying, you taking off the flight or something? You are, huh? What are you going to? You don't know, you ain't gonna talk? No. Yeah. Anyway. We will take a break from this now because we gonna make we gonna now make us some some taco biscuits. Something to do on a weird icy morning with nothing to do. Be back. Now we're gonna take some some beans, refried beans. Fried beans. We're gonna take some of that hamburger we fried up. And of course, we gotta have bacon. Then we go, uh, you want, we wanna use this on me a little bit, okay? Okay. There is your taco pizza. Anyway, it's taco pizzas and some, I don't know what to call them, pizza pockets, I don't know, but anyway, there they are, with the help of my grand boys. Easter desserts as fried by Angry Grandpa. Now, poon. All right. Okay, it goes into the batter. Into the grease. Oreo into the batter, into the grease. Charge your sandwich. Sandwich into the batter, into the grease. The red belt will start to come unravel. Yeah, it is. I never made this though, too. So. Well, of course. Something new. I remember the Twinkie was my favorite last time. Yep. Twinkie in. All right. Oh, I got. Oh, oh my God. That's so good. That's good. Want to try a bite, Gino? No. No. Hot shit with cream. You know what it needs to be called? What? Fried diarrhea creator. Oh. That's true. Okay, red velvet cake. Man! Oh, that is fucking awesome! It's so hot, it's so good. Wow. That's good. These are dynamite. Okay, next up. It is a Reese's Bunny Rabbit. Now we are frying up some Easter candy. Hey, can't you can't be it's Easter, you gotta fry Easter candy. Cadbury eggs. Cadbury eggs. 
Oh, they ain't sticking to it. Really? You just do it and see what happens, right? That's it. Holy crap. This was going nuts. This is going crazy in that chocolate. The chocolate oozes out of the batter. <laughs> Snicker. Snicker. And they coming back up. <laughs> Doing this so it doesn't get stuck. Oops. <laughs> Oh, we lost it. <laughs> we lost it. What the hell? Wait a minute. We lost it. Fuck. We lost it. Oh my god. <laughs> like some rabbit shit. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to peep. Marshmallow. You better get this good and covered, man. You better have that run down your face. It ain't going to cover. Alright, let's try it. But for the hell of it. Okay. Are you gonna do it by itself? Just do a minute. Oh man. We peeping the peep. Burn you motherfucker, burn! That thing turned off all of a sudden the eat ooze through, look. Yeah, I know, I see that. I'm melting! I'm melting! I like see the buzz again. Yeah. I can't believe this one turned out all right. Hey, we ain't tasted it yet. This one ain't doing shit. Look at it. I can't believe it's like being held together still. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going to try this. Now it's time to try the peep. There's the peep. Ain't bad. Here we go. Let's try the peep. Ain't bad. We did fuck. Ain't bad. The edge is like eating a sweet fried dough. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Cadbury egg. That was it, right? Yeah. Good? All right. Bridget, get over here. Fried Cadbury. Oh my God. Hmm. Up. So that's it. We fried up a bunch of Easter candy. The Snicker was a fail. Was it that the Snicker cream? Well, this we only did one Snicker. Yeah, you're right. The Snicker was a fail. The Oreo cookie was delicious. The cookie that was my favorite one. Yeah, mine too. So that's it. Fried Easter candy with Angry Grandpa. The next fry we do, I'm gonna teach you how to make elephant ears. Ooh, really? Yeah. Now look at that boy. Look at that motherfucker. Look how be Got some in the damn microwave right now. So you take your bowl and you take your mustard. Man, you open that mustard up. Grandpa like mustard. Ah. You take a little bit of mustard. You put it in there. You take your dressing. Because you want it just a little tingy. I use zesty Italian. Just a couple little squirts. Then you take your brown sugar and your knife you open that sucker up and you put some brown sugar in there you mostly want to go to taste if you like sweet barbecue sauce then you want it just a little bit and you get it all mixed up You, like I said, you mix that to taste. And make sure you get all that sugar. 
Let's blend it in. Then you give it a little taste test. Oh my god. I done got it hot there. I done got his meat. Show you all the meat. That is meat. That's the bun. So now we're going to take the meat. There you go, pickle boy. Yeah. That's for you, pickle boy. Nah. <laughs> this is going to be the best sandwich you ever had, boy. I ain't lying. Hey, Michael. Hey, man. I need a taste tester. Taste that sandwich. If you think I'm going to taste this sandwich out of your mind. Why? I'll make my own sandwich. But I just made it for you. Well, I'm sure you did. And I don't know where your hands have been, and I don't know what you've done. Oh, that ain't good. Taste the goddamn sandwich. Show me the buns. I'll, I'll make my own sandwich. Are y'all believing that shit? They've seen the way you cook. They see you licking your fingers. They've seen, they know you. I don't know what you've done. You hate me. You don't fuck me up. I, I didn't scratch my nuts or nothing. Man, if I watch this video later and I find <laughs> when I'm editing this shit and I see something. Mmm. I showed them how to make homemade mustard barbecue sauce. You made made this. Yeah, I did. You made something good. So there y'all saw it. We had we made it. We showed you how to make the pork. I just showed you how to make the mustard barbecue sauce. Now you can put that on burgers, anything. Mm. That mustard barbecue sauce is what you want to try. So this is Grandpa saying, barbecue your way to help. Bye, youngins. Barbecue way to help? Whatever, fuck you. There you go, pickle boy. Yeah. That's for you, pickle boy. You know, Dad. This means that I have to do some pranks on you again. I, I told you I wasn't going to do any more pranks to you. We had some agreement. I got to do something to you now. I, I got to do something to you now. Thanks. Fuck. A G P. Cooking with A G P. I'm cooking the floor over you. I might even make you a stew Instead I'm making salsa for you to taste today I'm making some salsa and I'm making it the AGP way Hey youngest, I have got a treat for you I go to the store and I buy salsa It comes in a jar and it's made in New York City. So I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own salsa. And I'm using uh Salit 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 that green shit that Mexicans use called Salit uh, Salizo or something like that, as you see. I got Salitro, I got vinegar. And I got peppers. That looks like me on a date. Mm. Got some onion. Got some oregano. Got some cumin. Is it cumin or cumin? It's one of the two. And got garlic. Gonna keep the vampires away. Went and bought me a canner and some knives. As you see, I'm boiling the water. I got my sink full of tomatoes. Now what? I, and, and, and I got a lot more tomatoes to go. Select tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato. My big belly don't give a shit. Anyway, I'm, I'm boiling this water, and I'm gonna pour it over the tomatoes. And what that's gonna do? 
that's gonna make the peeling just slide off the tomato. And then we go, I'm gonna dice it up, I'm gonna dice up this other stuff, mix it all together, put it in some jars, put it in the canner, cover it with, with water, boil it for 20 minutes, bring it out, seal it. God damn, that's a lot to tell you say in one goddamn time. Grandpa, AGP, authentic, trailer trash, salsa, and you'll see it here. And you go have bacon, because bacon will make that shit taste bad. I'll be back. All right, as y'all see, I'm peeling these tomatoes. Because you got to peel them real good and let them get a little chilly. So if y'all hang on a second. As you see, oh, God damn, fuck, that water's hot. Don't do what I just did! Jesus fucking Christ. Look at the steam coming out of that damn tomato. Anyway, you cut the damn middle out, right? Damn! And the goddamn tomato just peels right, the skin peels right off. That's what that hot water does. You see what it just did in my goddamn hand! Always cut the rot off. Pay that much for goddamn tomato and motherfucker got rot in it. Okay, as you see, I got the cilantro, I got some onion, I got some pepper, <laughs> and garlic. And we come over here, you see I got water in the pot, I got the tomatoes all stir all in there, all peeled. Ready to go. Now we're gonna do something. I wonder what garlic tastes like, so we're gonna find out. El garlic. Jesus out of Christ! We're gonna put the garlic in, half the garlic. Uh, excuse me. And then we're gonna stir that all in that tomatoes. Get that garlic all in that. Would you mind backing up now? Thank you. Then we're gonna take this onion, I mean this pepper. I do not like super hot. The way the, the way the green is mixed in with the red, with the white of the garlic. I didn't put garlic in that one yet. Well, damn. You gotta get it all mixed in together and you'll know, you'll know why in a couple minutes. But the green with the red reminds me of Christmas. Excuse me. Now the onion. Ta -da -da -da! Junior onion man flying around. No. Upside down. Another empty plate. And you mix all that in there together. You gotta do a good job mixing people. Let me get the other, excuse me. Jesus Christ, you get in the fucking way. Cilantro. We're gonna take some cilantro. We're gonna put that cilantro there. You know, I just bring it over that way. You ain't my motherfucking way no more. We take this cilantro. We're gonna put that much to start with. How's it looking, youngin? I'll put it right. I smell that garlic. The odor. The smell of the garlic penetrating my nose. Smells like pussy. Alright, I'm gonna use the sugar first. Yes, AGPs call for sugar. One, two, two. That yeah, blue actually. One, two, three, three salts. Apple cider vinegar. 
what would a cup be? Hmm. Back! Oh well. That's a cup. That's a cup. Alright. That's done. Final taste test. That is off the chain. And I just swallowed the fucking onion. So anyway, now you get your spoon. You fill up the jars. Well, you ain't gonna fill up that much. You put them in there. All right. As you see, I filled it up. I got, hell, I can't even count. Right now, I'm gonna start it off on high. I'm gonna get the water boiling, and then I'm gonna let it boil for like 15, 20 minutes. So I'll see you in 20 minutes, and we'll see what we got. Yeah! Something says finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. If this thing turns out right, I'm gonna do the happy crab dance. Ha ha! Whoa! Look at that, youngins! Salsa! AGP style! AGP salsa in the house! Tell you what, that's some hot motherfucking shit. Ah! Oh, Look at that youngin. So what y'all think about it? You like it? Write me and let me know. The reason you do it hot like this and you put the top on it, that way it seals itself out. Oh, I got man. Anyway, youngins, remember. Ah, ouch, ah. Angry Grandpa Salsa, coming to a table near you, as long as you make it, cause I ain't making it, bye.